What's going on YouTube? In this video we're going to talk about cookies and how you can save cookies and load cookies and then how you, how you can manipulate them. If you're watching this video then you probably know a use case that you want to use this for. But for those of you watching it for just a general purpose, uh, a couple of things you can do with this. Uh, I think the second most popular use case is testing of session timeout right whenever you log in you get a cookie string that has a timeout so if you log into an application and you don't do anything in that application for like two hours it may kick you out and different applications have different uh, protocols for their security so in one application it may be two hours and another application maybe four hours so if you're QAing a feature like that right you will have to use uh, cookies because otherwise your tests are going to be running for four hours and that is not very practical and you know that's on a good day it's four hours if you work in a company with uh, policies like that but maybe you work in a company that has a policy of six hours so you don't want to wait that long so what you may do is use WebDriver to log into the application save your cookies and then maybe and that's a script i'm not saying you are logging in right you have a test uh, test architecture set up in place uh, where you have scripts running on cron tabs at certain parts of the day that do things right so that would be one of those scripts that would um, use webdriver to log into the application save the cookies uh, and store those cookies in a particular location, maybe with a particular name that will give a queue on when it should expire. And then uh, you probably will have another script running maybe several times a day that will go ahead and check those cookie files. Um, so what it would do, it would start the web driver, load the cookies, try to go to page uh, where it's supposed to be authenticated and then check the use cases depending on the cookie files that it's validating. Maybe it should be active, maybe it should be inactive. So it would do then the assertions based on that. So that's, I think, the second most popular uh, scenario. The number one scenario that I think most of you are going to be using this for and I use this for the same thing as well, is I have a framework, right? And WebDriver is a program and it has bugs as well, right? Depending on how people use it, how um, how complicated the uh, scenarios are, it may get stuck, it may crash, it may lose connection to the driver, it may stop talking. So in my framework, um, I have a mechanism that actually looks at the health of the driver and if it detects that the driver is not in a good state, it will restart it. So it'll kill it and then it'll bring up a new one. Now, I don't want to, if that happens uh, frequently, I don't want to go through the login because my, my application actually requires me to be logged in to test anything. So for me to save time because you know login is not the fastest operation that you can perform um, with UI tests right it, it takes a while to type stuff up you, you hit um, submit right on login it takes a while to authenticate if you're doing it on staging server it may take even longer and depending on your uh, current infrastructure if there is no problems um, it may be fast, but if there is some problem somewhere, if there is like load, it may be m much slower. So it may vary anywhere from like two seconds to 30 seconds. So to reduce that, um, that time, uh, you may actually use cookies. So whenever I reboot, I actually load the cookie file that was created. Every time I log in, I stash a cookie file. So then whenever I need to do a recovery of the driver, I just load the, that cookie file and I continue with my test without losing any time in between because loading and saving of cookies is very, very fast. 
so let's take a look at some of these functions and what we're going to be using so save cookies is a very simple function it takes the driver object right web driver that chrome that firefox that uh, whatever it is that you're using you pass it in here we're going to get cookies from it and the object that's returned from this get cookies is a list of dictionaries okay very simple a list of dictionaries so then we're going to take that list of dictionaries we're going to use pickle to dump it into a file and over here you see i have a cookies uh, that txt so this is going to produce this file and if you take a look inside this file this is the cookies that we have so pickle is able to convert a python object into a text representation of that object so next time we use pickle to load this it will actually create a python object from this file okay and that's exactly what we see happening in this load cookies uh, which takes the driver also web driver that chrome that firefox or whatever it is that you're using the location where to load it from right so this location the same location you pass in here you'll pass in here um, so this will produce whenever we call pickle.load this will actually produce a list of dictionaries okay we don't need to do any conversion on top of it then this call here is optional uh, we're just making sure that we don't have any other cookies and the only cookies that we have are the ones that we loaded and then here we actually do the loop we're looping through items in the cookies which is a list and then we're adding those cookies into the driver now you can only do that this part over here will only work if you are on a page okay if you just created the driver and you're not on any page this will not work so you actually need to visit a page which page it doesn't really matter I have here google.com as the default if the URL is not passed in if URL is passed in I'll go to that URL and and then do this operation so then we have delete cookies uh, function which actually can be used to control which cookies you have currently uh, in your driver um, maybe you want to test something else you have a use case for testing something else and you want to remove cookies for a particular domain you can do that through this function this function takes the driver object and the list of domains uh, if if that list of domains is passed in it's going to go ahead and get the cookies from the browser right now so this will return a dict now this dict is a deep copy so anything we do on this dict is not going to be written to the driver okay um, so let's say we removed all the domains that we didn't need that we didn't want right the domains that you passed in we have cleaned up our cookies so this object here is clean but that doesn't mean that the cookies that the driver sees are what we want so before we actually um, are done with this function when we pass in the domains we have to delete all the cookies from the driver explicitly and then we have to loop over the cookie object that we have and store them in if we do that then the cookies that we the cookie object that we cleaned up here will actually be reflected in the driver itself if we skip this part um, it will not be in the driver so th this is important um, now if if the domain is not passed in then we just call remove everything because that's that's assumed by default it's assumed we want to remove everything so then that will be reflected in the driver that's why we have a return here so we don't need to do the, this step now let's take a look at how this works okay I actually have executed this I think already so we have um, sort of uh, some logic here right so we create the driver we go to Google we sleep for two seconds because cookies take some time to uh, to propagate uh, depending depending on which website you are on but on Google if, if you print it immediately and then if you sleep for two seconds and print it again you'll get a different set of cookies so 
we print the cookies here this is initial cookie set all right this is the list of the cookies so all of them for uh, google.com domain okay but different there's the dot google.com then there's dub 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 dot google.com right so a little bit different so in this step then we say okay i want to remove the dub 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 google.com from the cookies okay so what what this function will do it'll actually remove it right so this is the next step that we printed right here this is the next set and now we, we no longer have the www.google.com um, inside this list and then we delete uh, we delete everything so and this is what was printed there's nothing inside that list anymore so we removed all the cookies now let's take a look at let me comment this out and let's take a look at this example here so this URL right here if you visit uh, without being authenticated it's gonna ask you to log in so let's just run this so it goes to this URL and I get authentication page right and this says please log in to manage your settings so I actually want to bypass this right I don't want to do that so I have cookies right here for that particular website which I got by running this guy so all I did here is create a driver I went to the login page I logged in right I typed in my username my password and you guys are free to use this uh, information by the way if you want to play around with it and then I click commit all right this is the uh, login button and they have multiple uh, multiple elements with the same ID on the page um, uh, okay. so save cookies uh, then I, I call this function to save the cookies right so I pass in the Chrome um, Chrome object to that function and I pass in where to save and this is where I wanted to save it and then I quit right so if I execute this I quit and then I create a new driver I tried to access this page without loading cookies it didn't work right that's what I just demonstrated it did not work so now let's take a look what's gonna happen when we actually uh, load cookies so let's take a look at this guy now if I call this I'm creating a new driver I'm loading cookies into that driver from the same location where I saved it and then I go to that same URL for the profile to manage settings right so at this point I'll be able to land on that page and if you noticed before I landed on this page it actually took me to Google right I went to Google I loaded my cookies and then I went to the profile page which now works with the cookies so that's it for this tutorial guys make sure to if this tutorial helps you out make sure to like subscribe and share um, as always guys thank you for watching and this code will be on github so if you miss something uh, this will be available on github if you're watching this video it's already on github all right guys take care